What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny. In today's video, we're taking a look at the God Rolls for all the brand new season of the Witch Weapons. Not only did we get six brand new weapons, we also got some new perks, an origin trait, and on top of that, all of them are craftable. So be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now each and every season we get a range of brand new weapons and Season of the Witch is no different. This season we get 6 brand new legendaries. We also get a new basic origin trait called Head Rush. This is where standing up after crouching for a short time will grant the weapon a brief period of improved handling and reload speed. Now you can pick up any of these weapons by running the seasonal activities and whilst running those you'll also earn seasonal engrams as well. You can focus these into the exact weapon that you're after and if you've unlocked the right whisper cards which we covered in yesterday's video you'll also get good chances at deep sight resonance versions of them all of these as we said in the intro are craftable making it so much better when it comes to seeking out those god rolls now the first weapon we're going to take a look at is called the kept confidence this is a brand new legendary strand hand cannon this one is adaptive frame so it's 140 rounds per minute and has a reload of 3.25 seconds. Now the frame of this weapon is very similar to the Fatebringer and with the changes in Season 22 to hand cannons, this is an extremely snappy and agile hand cannon. Now as we touched upon earlier, each and every seasonal weapon will come with the origin trait Head Rush, but this particular hand cannon comes with 7 perks in each of the main trait columns. In the first column we have Quick Draw, Invisible Hand, Stats for All, a brand new trait called Loose Change, this is where applying an elemental debuff to a target increases this weapon's reload speed for a short time. Shot swap, air assault, alongside killing wind. And in the final column we have Eye of the Storm, Thresh, Harmony, Pergolist, Gutshot Straight, Collective Action, on top of Multi-Kill Clip. Now all in all this gun doesn't have too many great PvE options, but to make up for that it has some great PvP combinations. In terms of barrels, some great choices are Arrowhead Break, which improves the recoil by 9 and the handling by plus 10, or Corkscrew Rifling, which improves the stability, handling and range of this weapon. As for magazines, for PvP, Accurized Rounds will boost your range by plus 10, and in terms of first legendary traits, some go-tos are things like Killing Wind and also Quick Draw. And when you pair that with things like Eye of the Storm, where the weapon becomes more accurate and it will boost your handling as your health gets lower, this can make for some incredibly snappy final blows. Now, as we mentioned, there aren't too many great PvE options, but if you have any recommendations, then be sure to sound off down in the comments below. Now, next up, we have the Locus Locutus. This is a legendary stasis kinetic sniper rifle. This one is also adaptive frame. Now, this one comes with four rounds in the magazine and has a reload speed of 3.18 seconds. Now, much like the hand cannon, this also has the basic origin trait alongside seven additional legendary perks. In terms of the main traits on this weapon, you have Ensemble, Wellspring, Steady Hands, Surplus, Discord, Overflow, alongside Keep Away. And in the final column, we have Opening Shot, Under Over, Firing Line, Boxed Breathe In, a brand new trait called High Ground. This is where you gain bonus damage when attacking targets from higher ground, Headstone, and Kill Clip. Now, unlike the hand cannon, though, it does have some great PvE options as well as being very competitive inside the Crucible. Again, Arrowhead Break is the popular barrel choice, boosting recoil by plus 30 and handling by plus 10. Another viable choice is Chambered Compensator. This will slightly reduce your handling, but boost the recoil and stability stats on this weapon. If you are looking for a Crucible roll, then Accurize Rounds will provide plus 10 to your range. But if you're after a PvE roll, then something like Appended Mag or Tac Mag are both viable magazine choices. As for legendary traits, Overflow is the standout. This is where picking up special or heavy ammo automatically reloads this weapon beyond its normal capacity, and this will benefit you in both PvE and PvP. Now, depending on your mode preference, if you're looking for a Crucible roll, then Opening Shot is the top tier choice. And if you're considering something for PvE, then naturally Firing Line is a popular choice, but one worth considering is called High Ground. This is the new trait for this season. And as long as you're higher than the target that you're trying to take out, you'll get a free additional damage boost. Now, out of all the weapons we're going to cover in today's video, this is one of the most diverse. And if you have any recommendations, be sure to drop your suggestions down in the comments below. Now, next up, we have the Eremite. This is a legendary energy fusion rifle that deals solar damage. 
Now this weapon is a high impact frame, so it's slow firing but deals high damage. It has a charge time of 960, but a fast reload of 2.62 seconds. Now fusion rifles are well worth considering as they are an anti-champion weapon this season. And once again, this comes with seven perks in the main trait columns. Here you'll find Pulse Monitor, Compulsive Reloader, Offhand Strike, Slick Draw, Envious Assassin, Lead from Gold, and a brand new trait called Heal Clip. This is where reloading shortly after dealing a final blow grants cure to you and your nearby allies. And in the final column, we have Cornered, High Ground once again, Pergolist, Control Burst, Elemental Capacitor, Golden Tricorn, and a fan favorite in Reservoir Burst. Now this fusion rifle comes with some very strong combinations. Once again, Arrowhead Break is the top tier barrel choice. Now when it comes to batteries, you can either use accelerated calls for the faster charge time or enhanced battery for the increase to your magazine size. Both are viable choices, but it's down to personal preference. As for main traits, Hill Clip is absolutely top tier and well worth trying out this season. And if you pair that with something like Reservoir Burst, this is when your battery is full, your next burst deals additional damage and cause enemies to explode on death. And as long as any of those enemies that are impacted by your explosion are taken out, this will easily apply cure to you and your fire team. It's a great PvE weapon, but if you're looking for something to deal more damage, then potentially Envious Assassin paired with Control Burst is another option to consider. Once again, we have another seasonal weapon that is diverse in its options, offers great single target damage, as well as excellent ad clearing, which will also coincidentally heal you and your fire team. It's a very strong weapon, and if it isn't one that you're considering or added to your list so far this season, make sure to do so, as this will most definitely be a weapon that you won't want to miss out on. Now next up we have Briar's Love. This is a legendary Void Scout Rifle. Now this weapon is a precision frame, so the weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. This one fires at 180 rounds per minute and has a reload of 2.4 seconds. Now much like the fusion rifle this has got great options both for pve and the crucible now when it comes to barrels chambered compensator and arrowhead break are once again the most popular choices and as for magazines accurized rounds is once again a popular choice on top of a pended mag or tap mag if you're looking for a pve weapon in terms of main legendary traits it comes with rapid hit keep away another new trait called loose change this is where applying a elemental debuff to a target increases this weapon's reload speed for a short time. That's alongside perpetual motion, no distractions, shoot to loot, and perfect float. And in the final column we have destabilizing rounds, explosive payload, another new trait called precision instrument. This is where dealing sustained damage increases precision damage on top of frenzy, golden tricorn, daggio, and pergolist. Now in terms of those perk choices, a rapid hit is always a very popular choice, but one to consider is keep away, especially for the crucible, and this will increase your reload, range and accuracy when no targets are in close proximity. Both of those are excellent choices, and as for the final column, destabilizing rounds is an incredibly popular choice. This is where final blows cause nearby targets to become volatile, but if you're looking for a perk that is the best of both worlds, then explosive payload is a standout choice and projectiles will create an area of effect detonation on impact, which is great for PvE and frustrating for PvP. Again, these seasonal weapons are very diverse in their perk combinations, so if you're looking to try something a little bit different, or if you're just looking for a weapon that's a jack of all trades, then this scout rifle is a very viable choice. And as always, if you have any perk combination recommendations, be sure to sound off down in the comments below. Now next we have the Eliatic Principle. This is a legendary power machine gun that deals arc damage. This one is rapid fire frame so it has deeper ammo reserves as well as a slightly faster reload when the magazine is empty. This fires at 900 rounds per minute and has a standard reload of 4.75 seconds. Now once again with a fast firing weapon we'll need to get some extra stability and handling where possible. This is where chambered compensator and arrowhead break come in clutch. Again, being the most popular barrel choices. Now, whilst it's a rapid fire frame with deeper ammo pockets, extended mag is a very viable choice. Whilst this will slow down your reload, it will create an incredibly large magazine. However, if you want to boost your mag without the penalty to your reload, then a pended mag is another possible choice. Now, in terms of main legendary traits, our options are Zen Moment, Eddy Current, Heating Up, Well Rounded, Moving Target, Ensemble, and Offhand Strike. And in the final column, we have Target Lock, Golden Tricorn, 
Rangefinder, Adrenaline Junkie, Adaptive Munitions, Tap the Trigger, and Harmony. Now, as we mentioned earlier, we need any extra stability we can on a weapon that fires so fast, and things like Zen Moment are very powerful here, as simply causing damage with this weapon reduces recoil and flinch over time. And when you pair that with something like Target Lock, which is where damage increases the longer the weapon remains on target, basically the longer you shoot, the better your stability and the higher your damage. If, however, stability isn't an issue for you, then Eddy Current is another possible choice in the first main trait column. This will temporarily increase your reload speed after sprinting, and this effect is improved when you're amplified. This will go a long way towards addressing the slow reload, especially if you have extended magazine on there, and will help you get back into the thick of the action as quick as possible. Now, out of all the weapons we've covered so far, I don't honestly think this is one of the strongest, but it could be a weapon well worth trying if you still haven't got your hands on a decent machine gun. And last but no means least, we have the Simeotician, a legendary strand rocket launcher. This one is high impact frame, so it is slow firing but deals high damage. It fires at 15 rounds per minute and has a reload of 3.48 seconds. Now, some of the main perks for rocket launchers got updates in Season 22, things like Bipod, and thankfully this rocket launcher rolls with that perk. In terms of barrel choices, Volatile Launch or Confined Launch are the most popular choices here. As for magazine, you have Alloy Casing, which will reduce the stability but massively improve the reload by plus 30. And when it comes to main legendary traits, we have Impulse Amplifier, Build Prep, Perpetual Motion, Keep Away, Shot Swap, Wellspring and stats for all. And in the final column, we have Explosive Light, Bipod, Hatchling, Frenzy, Danger Zone, Harmony, and Pergolist. Now, in terms of standout choices here, Impulse Amplifier is up there. This will massively increase projectile velocity as well as the reload speed. When you pair that with things like Alloy Casing, this massively addresses the weapon's overall slow reload. Another way of potentially addressing that, though, is with Field Prep. This will increase your ammo reserves and on top of that you'll also get a faster reload stow and ready speed just by crouching both are great choices and in terms of the second main legendary trait explosive light is the popular choice this is where picking up an orb of power will increase the next projectile's blast radius and damage but one well worth considering now especially after the changes this season is bipod this will increase the rocket launcher's ammo and reserves but will reduce its damage blast radius and reload speed a lot of the perks that we've applied on this weapon up until now address some of those fallbacks therefore allowing you to take advantage of the extra ammo that bipod provides will this launcher be up there with one of the dps meta builds this season well if you can hit your targets then quite possibly but expecting this launcher to take the crown as the best legendary rocket launcher is a very tall order but as always guys if you have any suggestions or perk combinations then be sure to sound off down in the comments below so there we have it guys a good look at all the god rolls for the new season of the witch weapons if you've enjoyed this video be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more destiny 2 content and if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with destiny 2 then be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm going to pick to the game as always guys and i will catch you all again very soon